Memorial Day caps an extended weekend for some, but the holiday is all about honoring our armed service members who paid the ultimate sacrifice. People like Milwaukee Mayor Carl Zeidler, who left City Hall and joined the fight during World War II. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live. And Sam, he took some criticism for that decision. Yeah, hi there, Ben. He did. Milwaukee was such a pivotal player in the wartime efforts here at home. As an industrial center, there were some major businesses, banks, that said, hey, you should stay in your role in government. That will be your biggest role. Instead, he goes, he joins the U.S. Navy Reserves under the rank of lieutenant. It's a decision that is marked in service and sacrifice. Today, his name can still be seen around Milwaukee, like the Union Square on Michigan Street, downing his name and the municipal building named after his brother. But on this Memorial Day, Carl Zeidler's remembered for his decision to leave the city and pursue something bigger. He did not have to go. He chose to go. He was the mayor. He was well-respected. He was two years into a four-year term. At 32, Zeidler emerged victorious in the mayoral election. Then following the attacks on Pearl Harbor, he resigned from office, applying to join the U.S. Navy Reserves in February 1942, where he was accepted as lieutenant and called to service in April. He could have enlisted after his first term, and by then, history shows, especially going into the Navy, um, we pretty much own the seas by that. War Memorial Center President and CEO Dan Buttrey helps tell the story. When in November 1942, Zeidler's marine merchant vessel is attacked by a German U-boat off the coast of South Africa, killing everyone on board. Zeidler was 34 years old. They could protect some, but not all. And he just happened to be on a, on a vessel that was uh, blown up and, and he was never recovered because he was lost at sea. That sacrifice, the reason behind the holiday, remembering lives cut short to protect the freedom so many enjoy. And when all of us go in and serve, uh, it's a blank check. And, and that check is to be cashed by the United States uh, people. And, and so let's not forget that they do this selflessly. Mayor John Bourne Bone, excuse me, who was Zeidler's successor, then used his story to call for the creation of this building behind me. It is the War Memorial Center down on Milwaukee's lakefront. This building was dedicated on Veterans Day in 1957. Its purpose since then has been serving the living by honoring those that have died. We're live tonight in Milwaukee. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. What today's all about, just remembering the ultimate sacrifice. Sam, thanks.